the women's team, the Argonauts were Gulf South Conference champions and advanced to the regional tournament. Uh, from last year's team, six of six uh, starters are back this year. Uh, our two student athletes here today are uh, Monica Kokonova, a senior from Slovakia. Uh, she was a Gulf South Conference Player of the Year and All-America selection, a South Region Senior Player of the Year last year. Uh, Laura Aline, uh, a senior from France, uh, she enters the spring season ranked uh, number 10 in the country in doubles and also was an All-America selection last season. Uh, so first we will start off with Coach Racine. Uh, so what are some goals uh, for the women's team here this spring season? Well, really um, kind of our goals are pretty much the same same each year. We try and take it one step at a time. Uh, of course, we want to. Uh, we have a very competitive conference. Uh, we want to do, do well in that again. Valdosta State seems to be our uh, our rival every year, and uh, I know they've got some some new girls in this year. So I think I think they're going to be very good. Um, so that, that's our first our first goal is to do well in the conference. Um, and then everything everything in Division Two is regional now, and our region is very tough. Uh, as you heard in the other sports, it's the same for every sport. It seems uh, all the top athletes want to come where the weather is nice and. Uh, you know, tennis is no exception, so they can play outdoors uh, year-round. But our schedule kind of, you know, we, we've got a lot of matches that come up uh, before, which play into our seedings for the regional tournament. And the, you, know, you said we have a lot of a lot of girls returning, so they all know they all know what's at stake. So even as early as as our matches in February, we're playing a lot of the tough teams that can set us up for the regional tournament already in February. So it's uh, it's something that you know we, we've set our goals on, and then. This year we talked about just a simple goal, just trying to get better each day. So work hard, and uh, if we do that, then then the rest will take care of itself. Uh, talk a little bit about the the lineup this year, and a lot of it will be similar to last year, obviously with a lot of players coming back. But uh, players that you expect to be, uh, you know, making a big impact. Yeah, well, of course these two here, uh, Monica was, uh, as you read in there, probably some people might be scratching their heads, but she was. Senior player of the year last year, and she's back. So <laughs> we actually ended up uh, get, getting her an extra year. Um, she had uh, she came in as a Division One player at Clemson and had to sit out a year for Division One rules. But for Division Two rules, she wouldn't have had to. So we ended up getting her that year back, which was huge. Uh, I think she finished last season number four in the nation and uh, uh, just a, a leader on our team. Um, and uh, and then Laura Lane played number two last year. She came in in January. Um, and that was her first college experience. So a lot of that was a kind of a learning experience, not the tennis part of it, but just playing as a team and learning it. So uh, I, I can see a big difference this year. Um, she's going to be a lot more used to that pressure of playing in the team situation because in tennis you're used to playing an individual. And once you have a lot of people counting on you, it's a lot of added pressure if you're not used to it. So I think she's going to be used to it this year. Uh, they're going to be back as our number one doubles team. Um, and they were uh, you know, outstanding last year. So I expect that, them to be one of the top teams in the nation again again this year. And then just having all that depth back and those those the girls back uh, down in the lineup, um, everybody's, you know, a, another year of experience um, and used to to what it takes and they all know uh, you know what 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 we have to do to succeed. Um, we lost last year to uh, Barry who went on to win it. Um, so we've got a we know there's probably a ninety five percent chance that to get there to the to the final site. Um, if we can get through our region, we've got a great shot to win it because um, we'll have to probably beat one of the top one or two teams in the nation uh, to advance. But uh, but that makes our season more more meaningful more meaningful, I think. All right, we'll open it up for questions. Uh, returning eleven of twelve players and coming off a of Gulf South championship, what is one facet of the game that you guys can work on to improve for this season? Well, I think just just experience. Um, and uh, just, you know, we've worked on a lot of things on, the, on their games. And, uh, you know, everybody's game is individual, but at the same time, we play as a team. So it's a, it's a little bit tricky that way as far as, uh, you know, one thing for we've got one. We've got some certain things for each person's game that, that, that we're working on. Um, as far as one team thing, I think just just the aspect of being together and uh, playing as a team, um, you know, for another year will, will really help us. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of works that way in the region. We have a lot of 
tough teams. There's no really no easy teams in our region. And uh, with travel and everything, we try and go one place and, and play two or three teams. So if we're playing South Florida teams, we're going to – this year we're actually meeting them in Valdosta. So we'll meet uh, Armstrong and Rollins and uh, Barry and play Valdosta over there. Um, and then we get a chance to go to California this year um, and play Hawaii Pacific. Uh, and then we're actually – it just worked the way it worked out. We had a chance to have Hawaii Pacific back here. Um, that was a late thing. They One of their trips fell through. So we're going to actually play them twice this year. And I think they were four in the country last year. So that'll be a tough uh, a tough match, uh, both, both matches. But as it worked out, it's, you know, good competition is always going to make you stronger. Um, but, yeah, we don't have a whole lot of easy matches. But uh, but that, that's that's good for us. Yeah, we, we're fortunate. You know, we have – been able to attract a lot of good teams in here. Um, actually, BYU Hawaii is coming back. I think they've been back every year. I don't think they came last year, but probably I've been here 17 years. They've probably been here 15 years. Um, and then Hawaii Pacific's coming over. Um, Concordia out of New York that weekend is coming down. And Valdosta usually tries to come over to make up a fourth team, and and, and we'll do that that kind of thing. When, when BYU Hawaii is here, they're going to play West Alabama and – Valdosta and some of the other teams, and, Fl and Florida Southern. They're going to play some of the teams that, that are up here. So uh, we've usually the last weekend in March, first weekend in April, we attract uh, a lot of those teams in, and uh, it makes makes good, you know, good competition for us, and we don't have to travel, so it's, it's nice. Both, both players, how, how is this team different? I just thought about it yesterday, actually, and I feel like everybody improved a lot. So uh, definitely it is better. It is a lot more competitive whenever we play the matches and the practice. They are very close, especially the top lineup, but the lower lineup as well. So I feel very good about it. Yeah. Personally, I would say that last season was my first season, so... This season, I'm going to play with a lot more confidence. And for the whole team, we've been practicing hard every day. Um, so it's going to be promising for sure because all the players are returning players. So we know each other. We know what we want to do together. And we're ready to fight all together. So I think it's going to be a really good season for us.